Hi everyone and welcome to F8's online studio. My name is Neha and I work on marketing for our developer and utility products. Right now I'm here with Deb and Ilya. They just a few hours ago announced all of our major products for F8 and so we're going to dive a little bit deeper. Um, for those of you guys who didn't get a chance to see the keynote, I'd love it if you can just share a little bit about what you do and a little bit about yourselves. Sure. I'm Deb and I manage Facebook's platform. And that includes things like like and share, social plugins, you know, the login button and beyond. So we have a lot of things within the platform. I'm Ilya and I run the Parse team. And so we make it easier to build apps across a variety of platforms with a bunch of SDKs and services backed by uh, the Facebook cloud. Great. So there were a lot of things announced today, yes. this morning. Um, Deb, will you share a little bit about how all of the announcements will help developers build better experiences for people? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, for example, with the new plugins, right? The new plugins are just a way to, you know, make commenting better. So if you're a publisher, it makes it a lot easier for you to take comments from your site and make them the same as the comments that are happening on Facebook. So you can have one simple conversation as opposed to two separate conversations. And it also gives you, you know, for things like video, it gives you an opportunity to take video from Facebook that's shared and put them onto your site as well. And so things like that will improve the developer experience for publishers. Beyond that, we launched Facebook Analytics for Apps, which I'm really excited about. And a lot of that is because you know, developers constantly ask us, like, what can we do to improve our app? And a lot of it ha depends on what's happening in the app itself. And so this gives them a window into what's happening and how to improve their product over time. So one thing Mark mentioned was a Facebook family of apps. So Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. How do you see these products fitting together? Yeah, you know, one thing is it's all about people. So you use Facebook, you come and you share content, you're actually also able to engage and you, know, you can see what public figures are saying, you can see news articles, and it's a really engaging experience. But sometimes you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and so you use Messenger. Or maybe you want to have a group conversation, there's a groups product for that. And so as people are changing the kinds of things that they want to share and things, the conversations they want to have, we want to support all of that. And that's what the Facebook family of apps is about. It's actually about sharing and how people want to use these apps. And so, for example, um, Zuck talked about the new sharing experience. It just doesn't share things in the news feed. It actually allows you to choose the audience. So if the audience is a specific group of runners, for example, that he talked about, or if it's just a message thread with your family, you want to be able to share that with the right audience at the right time. Ilya, um, you announced one of our big announcements, which was Parse for Internet of Things. Yep. So what kinds of connected devices are you most excited to see now or in the future? Yeah, so I've used a lot of the fitness bands. I'm really excited about mm -hmm. those. I've been trying to be healthier. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm actually really excited about things in the home. So. Um, as part of this process of building this product, I actually built something in my own home where I hooked up my alarm system to uh, one of these small devices, and it sends me a text message whenever uh, when any of my doors open or anything like that happens. And um, it's just been really fun to kind of make my home a little bit smarter. And in general, I think there's lots of areas where um, the connected home is going to be a pretty interesting thing over time. So you've just bought um, Parse beyond just mobile yep. and web with this. Yep. What do you think are some of the challenges that developers will face? Yeah, it's going to be a tricky situation. So you know, a lot of um, the challenges in mobile are around fragmentation, right? So there's at least two big platforms, iOS and Android. And then within those, there's different devices and different versions and operating systems. That's a whole lot harder in the you know, IoT space. It's not really just like operating systems. You're dealing with like actual chipsets and like memory constraints. And so um, a lot of things that developers haven't thought about for a very long time are very real. It's like the very basics of computing where you just have very few resources and you have to be very optimal and smart about them. And so I think um, we're going to make that a lot easier for folks, but it's still going to be a challenge going forward. Um, so you know, we talked about I Parse for IoT. Yeah. You also mentioned in Keynote that there were other Parse launches happening. Yep. And you know, we have a ton of sessions coming up, especially tomorrow on Parse. Yep. Can you share a little bit of details on those other launches? Sure, features? I'd love to. So um, we announced an integration with React. So React is a, is a Facebook uh, developed technology that allows you to build great web and mobile apps. And we're going to make it easy to hook up the two so that you can build a React app and then use Parse for all the sort of data and the back end. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's a good marriage of technologies. Um, we also announced this thing called Parse Explorer, which is a really like 
intricate tool to debug what's going on in your app. If some things are slow, we can give you a lot of data to tell you what's going on and how to fix that. Um, we released something called Cloud Code Webhooks, mm -hmm. which is a nice interoperability kind of functionality. So if you're building on Parse and you've got a bunch of um, functionality, but you want to do something um, more complex than what we offer, you can spin up another server and then have the two talk to each other in a very seamless, simple way uh, using these webhooks. Um, and then uh, the last thing we did was we announced a, a suite of a security functionality. So um, many great apps, like the first class apps, they have this feature where uh, you can see where all your sessions are, right? So if you log in, um, you can see, okay, I'm logged in on these other devices, and you'll get a notification if there's a suspicious login. Um, we're going to make that easy for developers to bake mm -hmm. into their own apps so that their security can be uh, first in class, just like the best apps in the world. Well, wow, that's a lot. It Lots is a lot. Lots of great Parse, yeah. parse launches. Um, you guys should make sure to check out the Parse sessions. They're Please tomorrow, do. so they're yep. going to be available on video, and some will be live streamed. So shifting gears a little bit, Facebook Analytics for Apps. Yep. So you know that seems to have a lot of great features for developers. You can do cohorts, segments, mm -hmm. funnels, and much more. Yeah. Can you share a little bit more detail and just give an example of yeah. how a developer can really get value out of this product? Yeah, absolutely. So you can, you know, if you're using app events, you can tell us, for example, who's coming to your app and then how they're making it through the flow. So who's adding to cart, who's checking out. But beyond that, you can actually compare that by country or by demographic, men versus women. You can, you, know, you can really understand, like maybe your checkout rates are really low in one country, and maybe it's because you translated it poorly. You know, there's just so many things that you can do to really understand more deeply what an aggregate people are doing. And then you can decide, OK, given that, how can I improve my app? Other examples are, you know, maybe you released a new version, and actually the, um, the people coming back, you know, your churn is much higher. And you can maybe figure out that there's a bug or some issue. And so this is a really great opportunity for you to, to deeply look at your app and understand what's happening in it so you can build better experiences. That's great. And the last thing you announced uh, on stage was Live Rail. Yes. How can Live Rail help developers monetize? Yeah, so Live Rail, um, when, we, when, they, when they joined the Facebook family last year, they were really focused on video. Their like, video publishers would use Live Rail to fill their video inventory. But now they're able to use that for also their mobile display inventory. And that's what's really exciting. You know, you don't want two services. You could have a single service that does both. So if you direct sell, you can fill the inventory for both your video and your mobile display in the same place using the same tools. And that's what's really great about it. The other thing is their mobile display is also really seamlessly integrated with audience network. And so you can take the audience yeah. network inventory and bring it into Live Rail, and you can get the best of both. And so especially for native ads. Like native ads is what the audience network is really good at. And so if you have native ads in your app, you can use the Live Rail suite to take that and make sure that you're getting the best inventory and get the best monetization out of that. So at a glimpse, we went through a lot of the products that were announced today. Yes. There's also a lot more at F8. There's demos, there's dev garages, experiences. You can try stuff, Oculus. Yes. What are you guys both most excited about? I'm really excited about the Oculus stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that um, for folks here, you should really try to check out the demo if you can. Otherwise, you know, watch out for them um, in the future. It's, it's a really fun experience, and it's really, it feels like you're putting the future on. Yeah. Uh, so it's been, it's been exciting to see them. Uh, be part of the Facebook family. It's great. And tomorrow yeah. morning's keynote. Yes. Yeah. That's going to be really That's exciting cool. as well. I yeah, think it's yeah. going to be really exciting to Definitely see Rush talk in. about the Oculus technology and Shrep talk about that as well. A lot of the innovation that's happening. And then also, if you have a chance to go visit the hall where all of the demos are happening and the dev garages, because you'll be able to see the stuff come to life. You can test out the Messenger platform, which we didn't get a chance to talk about, yeah. a lot about. But the Messenger platform, all they have tons of representation there of all of the apps that are part of that family. And so you can check those out as well. And the last thing, as developers yourselves, you know, and product experts at Facebook, what advice would you give other developers? I always like to tell people, um, make a small subset of your, of your target, mm -hmm. you know, user base or your target market, very, very happy. So start mm -hmm. small and grow from there. Really focus on making a small amount of people really, really happy. What I would say is test and learn. Right? Always yeah. figure out what's going to work by testing. Because you're not going to really, you, you have intuition, but you're an audience of one. 
But if you're a developer, if you can just test and really understand why somebody is doing something in your app, then you can grow from there. You know, you just don't know what's going to work. And sometimes you might test 10 things, two things really take off, and eight things are just not going to work at all. But if you test and you have that iteration and that methodology of iteration in your DNA, you can always figure out what's going to work. Well, thank you. We are out of time. Thank you both so much for coming by thank the you. studio. Yeah, and great. thank you guys online for watching. We have so much more great content. And tomorrow is another full day with more to talk about, more folks, more speakers. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.